What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share what sold over this past weekend on eBay and on Poshmark. Now this was a special weekend for me because we were out of town doing some wedding planning so I definitely didn't do any listing or a ton of sharing like I usually do during the weekend but I was still able to bring in a decent amount of sales so if you guys are interested in these what sold videos hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado Let's get into it. Starting things off with the eBay sales is this polo shirt from the brand Marlboro. And this is the first time I found this type of like polo shirt. This was super dope in my opinion. I really did like this one. The only downside was the fact that it didn't have the size tag on there. So I made sure I put the measurements and I said that it fit like a medium because it really did. It fit like a like a classic fitting medium size shirt. And um, it sold on eBay, but I was surprised because I thought it would sell on Poshmark first only because it was not necessarily trendy, but I figured somebody uh, on Poshmark would pick this up. But it sold on eBay for $29.99 plus shipping. And I picked this one up for $4.99. Next up is this Roots Canada sweatshirt. And this is the first time that I'm selling this brand. Um, Roots is really popular in Canada, but I hardly ever find it in my thrift stores. So this one was, like I said, first time and it sold for six bucks and I sold it for 25. So not a ton of profit, but really a good sale for me because I thought it would take a lot longer to sell, but it only sold within about I think three or four days, so very quick flip. Next is this pair of Reebok G Unit sneakers, and I paid 22 bucks for these. And as you guys can see, these were in really good condition. I did have to clean these up just a little bit to make it more presentable, especially the shoelaces and the midsole. But overall, these sold for 115 bucks, and this was definitely a, a really good sale for me because. For one, these didn't sell for $115 when they were brand new back in the day. But um, G-Unit sneakers are selling for a decent amount of profit now. So if you guys can find them, even if they're not in as good condition, you can still get anywhere between 50 to 80 bucks, uh, depending on the overall condition. Next is this password safe. And this is some really like outdated technology, but it's still selling on eBay. Um, I picked this one up for five or six dollars and it sold for 25 with free shipping and it shipped first class. So I only paid about four four or five dollars to ship this one up so if you guys see any password safes still pick it up especially if it's brand new in the box keeping things going with the outdated technology is this cassette player from Dura brand and this one the only reason why I picked it up was because it was brand new in the original packaging and this one sold for 20 bucks with free shipping and I, so of course I wasn't accepting any offers and this one cost about four dollars to ship so uh, paid I think three or four dollars for this one so I also made a decent amount of profit as well next up is this Apple in case backpack and this one sold for seventy dollars via the global shipping program and this one went to China so if you guys can enroll into the global shipping program I suggest you do that because some items sell for even more money when it's sold uh, via the global shipping program uh, comps for this was selling anywhere between 40 to 70 bucks and I just priced mine at the highest end and it sold for the full asking price so this was a very good flip and I paid eight dollars for this backpack next up is this Tarita leather briefcase and this one was in pretty good condition there was no holes or any tears in the leather or in the fabric but it was pretty like scratched up and it did have some stains but it sold for 60 bucks plus shipping so if you guys come across Tarita I suggest you pick it up because it's a it's a luxury brand and it sells for decent money even if it's not in the best shape next is a Nintendo Wii controller and I've been selling these like crazy lately um, this one was a part of a bundle and I got the entire bundle with the controllers all the cords for about seven or eight dollars and I just sell the controller separately that way I can make some more money and um, this one's over $15.99 so if you guys see them um, sell it for anywhere between 15 to about 20 bucks but uh, $15.99 was the sweet spot for me. Next is this Paul Stewart silk, uh, silk and linen blazer. And I priced this one way too high. I had it listed for $89.99. And I got an offer for $60. And when I checked the comps, I realized that similar jackets were selling for about $40 to $60. Bucks. So I went ahead and accepted that. And um, just always go ahead. Once you get an offer, make sure you check uh, like the current state of whatever that item is. Because sometimes... You know, prices fluctuate and trends change the prices. And this one was selling for only 40 to 60 bucks. So I just went ahead and took that off of $60. Next is this Motorola modem. And this one sold for $19. And I had this listed for maybe four or five days, nothing too long. 
and I was able to ship this in a padded flat rate envelope and that cost about seven bucks so I didn't make a ton of profit on this at all but um, it was a very very quick flip and last but not least in terms of eBay sales is this vintage uh, cycling jersey with a ton of logos on here mainly Italian brands but these cycling jerseys with the bold colors always sell pretty well for me the only downside to this one is the fact that it did have some pinholes on the back and I didn't notice that while I was in the store so uh, I definitely had to take a lower asking price with this one and I accepted uh, an offer for 25 bucks plus three dollar shipping so if you guys come across this brand definitely pick it up because it will sell pretty fast for you moving right along into the Poshmark sales is this pair of Adidas Aniki boots and this one sold for $69 and if you guys follow the channel you already know that I picked up about 40 pairs of these Adidas Aniki boots and I sold about 16 so far so this was probably one of the best investments I've made in my whole uh, reselling business in 2019 so far so I'm definitely gonna keep hitting some outlets and hoping that I can find some deals similar to this one and if you guys are interested in learning how to find out how to sell uh, how to buy and resell items from outlets check out this video I'll put it in the cards and in the description for you guys because I gave some really good tips on how you can do this yourself next is a pair of Nike Air Jordan basketball shorts and these sold for $14 I picked these up for two or three bucks from uh, my church thrift store so this one sold within about three or four weeks so really quick flip and larger sizes always sell better for me next is a pair of leather wingtips and this came from the personal collection and I got these from DSW maybe five or six years ago but since I am a full-time reseller now I don't wear dress shoes often so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell a lot of those shoes and this is the first one I decided to let go and these sold for 30 bucks and a um, decent amount of money made considering the fact that I had these for a very long time next is this pair of Eileen Fisher pants and these pants I paid five or six bucks for and they sold for twenty two dollars and I don't sell a ton of women's brands but this is one of the few that I'm familiar with so anytime I find it I always do pick it up next is a pair of these echo shoes for women and these sold for 20 bucks and I believe I paid three or four dollars for these shoes only downside is that I had these shoes for at least four maybe five months so these took a very long time to sell but anytime I find dress shoes especially for men from the brand echo I always pick it up because those usually sell a lot faster and for more profit next up is this adidas golf shirt and anything golf related right now is selling very fast for me and like I always tell you guys larger sizes always sell better for me so keep in mind um, Poshmark shipping fee is like six dollars and seventy nine cents so all in all the buyer paid twenty bucks for this I would have probably made more money if I sold this on eBay next is another golf shirt that sold for twenty three bucks um, this one was actually brand new with the tags and I paid five dollars for this one from my goodwill and this one sold within about I think two and a half months it took for this one to sell so not a very quick flip because I did turn down a lot of the other offers but um, like I always tell you guys, larger sizes in these golf shirts would sell better for me. And anything golf related right now is selling very, very fast. Next up is a pair of Hoka 1-1s. And these were in really good condition. Um, these I picked these up for 10 bucks, and they sold for my full asking price of 39 bucks. So if you guys come across Hoka, still pick it up. I don't find them as often as I used to, but anytime I do, they still sell for a decent amount of profit. Next is this Brixton shirt, and this shirt sold for my full asking price of $19. And I don't come across, I don't sell Brixton often, but I usually just gravitate towards some of their jackets and their shirts. And this plaid shirt, in my opinion, was really dope, and it sold for $19. Bucks. So if you guys come across similar shirts, I suggest you pick it up. Next up is this pair of Hey Hey shorts, and I believe Hey Hey is an anthropology brand. So I just went ahead and put that um, in the title and the brand name. That way I can share it during anthropology parties. And it sold for 15 bucks, and I only paid a dollar for these shorts, so that was definitely a very good flip for me. And last but not least is this pair of Anu hiking boots, and this was actually brand new with the tags. I just didn't have the original box for this one and I picked this up from my Goodwill for 20 bucks and it sold for my full asking price of $79 so if you guys come across any Anu hiking boots I suggest you pick them up but not everything from the brand Anu sells for decent profit but their hiking boots usually sell really well so look out for their hiking boots alright y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you got any comments or any questions drop it in the comment section I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible 
So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thunder